Behind him, the half-dozen men forming his unit crouched low and remained silent. Those in Gartok's raft did the same. A small defense, but it helped. Sound and the glint of sunlight from equipment could attract instant attention, where the soft, ground-hugging approach of the rafts need not. A crevasse drifted past below. A rounded jumble of boulders, like the marbles tossed by a child tired of its play. A patch of gnarled vegetation. A turn into a narrow pass, a lift. A long, slow passage over the contours of rolling hills. And then, at full speed, a downward glide to where a long, dark building showed against the ochre dirt. Out! Dumras hit the ground and rolled to the cover of a rock as his men obeyed. Cover! He loped forward, dropped signaled with a sweep of his arm, waited as shapes scuttled past to drop in turn while he searched the area ahead with narrowed eyes, rifle poised to fire. Nothing. The building was silent, the area around void of any trace of life. Gartok, landing to one side, lifted his helmeted head. Nothing, Earl. The place is deserted. Be careful. Men could be waiting, trap set. Even now, fingers closing on triggers, ready to loose a storm of fire. Yet, if present, those men remained invisible, and instinct gave no warning. There was no movement, aside from that caused by a sudden flurry of wind, little plumes of dust rising from the acrid soil. I'm going in. Gartok rose to his feet. Cover me. Dumras moved so as to increase his field of view. He saw the mercenary step cautiously toward the building, dodge around a corner, vanish. A moment later, he reappeared, waving. A bust, he said as Dumas came close. The place is empty. You guessed wrong. Not wrong. They had arrived too late. Kneeling, Dumas looked over the floor, seeing the marks of booted feet and trails of dragged equipment. The doors had been open, and the wind would have carried dust to hide the marks had they not been recent. And a pot of coffee resting on a stove was still hot. Warned! Gartok slammed his hand against the pot and sent it flying to fall in a pool of steam. <laughs>